Good morning, everyone. So welcome to my channel, Space Remote Sensing and GIS. And I'm very sorry that we are a uh, little late to upload this video. Because last two week I was not there. I was went, uh, I was in uh, a trek, okay, in, in Kashmir Valley. So it will be a very nice experience for me, which which is required to recharge myself, okay, to to innovate or to think more in a better way, so that I can bring lot of lot of new new videos for you all, which will be very helpful for you. So now. Today we are actually going to discuss few things about uh, a new tool. We already know about that as Rasta Analytics tools. So uh, here uh, we will going to discuss few things about the raster functions. What are the different kind of raster functions which you can apply over the different kind of um, images, okay, or imageries you can say like uh, digital division data if you have, okay. So what kind of uh, kind of um, tools which is available? which you can use uh, to get or extract informations okay directly from the images okay so that is what we call as a raster functions so a few things we're going to discuss about that okay so let's start so i have one digital location data for a particular location so i'm just going to add the digital location data with the map so that uh, i'm going to show you what kind of uh, the, the raster analytics tools or you can say the, the raster feature functions which we'll have which we'll go to use over this type of images okay so let's see so this is the digital elevation data which is uh, contained the height from 2113 meter to 2856 meter okay so this is the uh, digital elevation data which i have with me uh, but suppose I just want to see the height which is more than 2500 meter, okay, within this particular digital vision data, which is the height contain more than 2500 meter, then how we're going to see that, okay, so let's see how we're going to use that. So for that, uh, there is a tool, is a very good tool which we can discuss that is called a greater than tool, okay, so we have one tool, it's called greater than, so for that you can go to the analysis, okay, under the toolbox, you can simply uh, type uh, like greater than greater okay so you see here here you will get this tool directly uh, known as a greater than okay so if you simply see is under image analyst okay so you can simply click on this greater than this tool which is under image analyst as we already know okay so this is a greater than tool and if you want to give input of uh, suppose a digital elevation data so simply you can select this digital elevation data okay and uh, you can get directly the output so if you want you can go for it okay so uh, you have another option also but here one thing you have to mention that is the height means which height you want to see okay like here uh, i give the my dem as an input so next second one is the constant value or the input structure so here i am just giving 2500 meter okay so i just want to see the height which is more than 2500 meter okay so that will be highlighted so let's see let's run the results and you see uh, we will get the results in a few minutes yes so this is the results okay so here you will get the two values that's new layer which is added to the map as you've seen here so you will now you can change the symbology if you want to make a difference okay the value will be easier to distinguish okay so here whatever the value is represented as a one okay so that is basically your 2500 meter so the area the area if you find this a blue one okay are actually are denoted by the value of one okay so which is actually indicated the po the portions of the raster which is having 2500 meter so this will be a very good options which you can uh, directly use okay over your data and you will get your target value which you want to see over the data uh, so suppose now if i want to calculate the slope over this data so simply you can type same thing like i want to calculate the slope enter okay so you will get this uh, slope analysis tool so uh, from here also you can uh, give input of your digital elevation data which you have with you okay so 
that's all so now if you want to calculate it in a percentage or in a degree so that you can mention it here so let say i'm just going to calculate it first in in percentage so i'm just simply click on this percentage okay though the factor said one will be fine and i will kept it as a one so now i want to create a new layer over here so i'm just simply click on the run okay so if i click on the run i will get uh that particular slope within a second and see this is my slope map so see after recognizing some some this is the avalanche uh potential requirements if you want to search okay so you will realize that uh, your analysis will be require the slope uh, to be calculated in degree okay because here i'm just calculating percentage so you want to calculate in degree so uh, rather than uh, this percentage we are we are not going to use better we are going to use in a degree so because of this options of this raster functions you will not have the reapply this raster function so you can simply modify it so if you want you can modify it so here uh, how we're going to modify the raster function chain so we will going to discuss about that uh, suppose uh, i just want to open the function chain of this particular slope see this slope maps which i'm just going to change it okay so if i want i can change this okay so i can i can simply do that okay and you see how we're going to change the function chain so simply just right click on this slope which you calculated okay and if you click on this edit function chain options so you will see uh that value means whatever the process you just run now huh? so it will going to open within a second okay so that is the beautiful thing over here which you can apply directly and uh, if you want uh, you can see uh, the functions whatever you run in over that particular raster okay so uh, if you want to change it in in degree suppose here in a slope maps if i go okay so you just need to simply change this from this percentage okay so uh, or if you want to uh change it in degree so you can simply click on this degree and simply click on okay so this will be going to change in a degree and now if you want to run so simply click on run okay so you will get a new map which will come over that so suppose that's only i just simply run it and you see you will get that in degree similarly if you want to change it in a percentage again simply select it okay and click on this run so you see it will run over your map and it will come in in a percentage okay so that is the that is the process which you can apply it in a both over the degree and over the map okay so see here again i am just uh, run over this over the degree so it will came in a degree 0 to 90 okay so that is a map so if you want to change the color over here you can give whatever the color you want okay so you want to color by names so you can go with the color by names and whatever the color you want according to the particular tone okay so you see elevations and all informations you will be given here so you can select those uh color okay which will be represent best uh suitable for that particular uh tone like here elevation i am selecting okay so, so according to elevations it will come okay so this is which we called as a raster function chain options okay so whatever the raster processing you are actually running okay if you want to change over that particular same layer okay from here you can simply change that options so today's video it's up to that much okay so i will request please uh, share this video to everyone and if you have any queries please let me know and please subscribe my channel okay thank you thank you